Lilac. Today I'm going to be talking about the Gold Award, what I'm doing for my Gold Award, and what the actual Gold Award is for, and why you should do it. The Gold Award is the highest achievement within the Girl Scouts of the USA, earned by Senior and Ambassador Girl Scouts. I am currently a Senior in Girl Scouts, and I have been accepted for my Gold Award. When I applied, I filled out some forms, and then I went on a Zoom call and I did an interview, and a couple weeks later I got accepted into my Gold Award, and I have been working on it since then. For my Gold Award, I decided to make Plarn mats, which is plastic bags that are crocheted or knitted, and they are rolled up for homeless people because when I was younger I used to work with salt and I saw lots of cardboard on the ground and it's really bad for the environment. It'd be soggy and the people would not be very comfortable. So these mats are more of cushiony and more like a mattress and they're easy to take with them because they can be rolled up and they're very light. One is it teaches you many leadership skills and it teaches you how to be a better community member and how to help your community. And it also helps with getting volunteering hours. Another thing is it can help with college admissions. When colleges look at your resume, if they saw a gold award, it would make them more likely to pick you other than someone else. Another thing is that you can get a cord when you're done with high school graduation, you can get a cord for it, and that's just a really cool feeling to have. It also helps with job applications, the same as college applications. When they see it on your resume, it makes them want to pick you rather than someone else. You can also earn scholarships and grants, and grants are a certain amount of money to help with college, and scholarships is also the same thing. But that's something where you can write essays, and there's many websites that you can find for scholarships. Having at least 80 hours, that's the minimum, of helping your community. But 10 of those hours can be prepping. So that can be planning, getting your group, making posters, all that kind of stuff. But that's only the 10 hours. And the other 70 hours is teaching some other people what you're doing because the 70 hours need to be leadership skills because you're teaching them what's happening. This is not a project that you do on your own. You have to do this with other people but it does not have to be with other Girl Scouts. For when you get your mentor, you can't use your mom or dad or any family member. You need to get someone else. I recommend if you're working with a business, then pick the owner or someone that you know from there. Try to get them to be the, your mentor. You can talk to them, email them, tell them what you're thinking, and they can help you with your projects. But they don't do the teaching part. You do, but they can give you advice and things like that. Before starting your Gold Award, you need to make sure that you have done either two senior or ambassador journeys. And if you have, you can go ahead and get started. You can always do more journeys, but you don't have to. But those are before you start. I hope this helped out the girls that want to do their gold award when they're older. Have a great day. Bye.